This video is to help prove where the charge is being stored at in this device. I've had a number of messages suggesting to me that this is an, a capacitive effect, but I'd like to state this is not an electric field capacitive effect. Um, there's nowhere that an electric field is being charged and stored. Uh, what I believe is happening here is that the magnetic field is being stored within the core, and this video is to help uh, prove that. Uh, so what you see here is I've taken either leg of this coil and it's connected to my LCR meter and we're measuring inductance. Uh, the core is not charged up right now and we're reading 11.64 millihenries. I'm going to switch it on just for a second. We'll observe what happens. Now we're reading 11.45. Okay, the inductance has gone down suggesting that the core is now partially saturated or it's more saturated than it was. Now we'll break the core and put it right back and you see it went back up 11.71. Here we'll do it again. Now it went back down 11.4445. Break it again. Now it went right back up. Okay, third time. 11.4445, I'm going to break it, put it right back, 11.64, went back up, okay, I think that uh, should help get it in mind that what's happening here is the core is saturating, or starting to saturate, because the magnetic field is stored within the core, if you want to say it that way, I don't know if that completely des describes it, but uh, I don't know, that kind of explains it here. See the same thing happening with this magnet as I approach the core. It's going to go down as the core begins to saturate. See? So it went from 1160 something to 1150 something. It's going to go right back up when I take the magnet away.